All right, what is up, guys? We are back with the new Blu-ray update. May just ended, so we're now in June, which means it is time to show you everything I bought Blu-ray-wise in May. I have a hell of a lot of titles next to me, way too many, and there is a reason because of that. A friend is getting ready with his Blu-rays, and he's like, bro, take them cheaper. I'm not going to get as money money from giving them away anyway, so just take as much as you want. I'll give you real cheap prices. So I stocked up. I got like 33 from him, and then, of course, like a week later, JB Hi-Fi go, buy one, get one free on any single Blu-ray. So I was like, oh, shit, okay. So I got a bunch of new, rate, new release titles for like half price, and I was like, shit, how to get those. So I think I've got 45 here in the two parts video. So this is obviously part one. I will put up part two in a couple of days, probably on Friday. And so much shit to show you. So I'm going to go through them one by one, hopefully a bit quicker. I don't want to have a really long video, but there's so much to show you guys right here. It is absolutely ridiculous. Let's get into it. All right, so we've got pop star Never Stop Never Stopping. This is a ridiculous film. Lonely Island, what do you expect? It's a very fun film. I, I did have a lot of fun with that one. Next one was uh, one I bought in the new releases was Pitch Perfect 3. This movie, if you guys know anything about me, this is my like one of my favorite franchise films. I actually thought one was a really good film. Two and three are kind of guilty pleasures, but one is actually a generally good film, and Britney Snow is... It's Britney Snow. If you guys know anything about me, you know Britney Snow. So I had to get Pitch Perfect 3. I got that half price, which is really good. Um, the next four are all together, and I will put them all together to save time. The Pirates of the Caribbean 1 to 4, I actually got a new release deal about a couple months ago that gave me 5, and I was like, I finally got to get these ones. These ones I got really cheap from my friend, and it's it's a fun it's a fun uh, franchise. I think they progressively get worse, but 1 was actually a lot of, like, a really good movie. Uh, now we got Pinocchio. Uh, this is obviously just a Disney classic. I think this is a must-have in your collection. Uh, you know, one of the most iconic Disney movies ever. Moving on to Nerve. This movie, I, I did enjoy it. I didn't think it was amazing. I didn't think it was bad either. I just thought I had a fun with this movie. It was a different concept, which I really like. And I picked it up really cheap as well. Uh, the next three go together as well. We got the Matrix Trilogy right here. Um, I need to really, really watch these. I haven't seen these in ages. I think bits and pieces um, when I was younger, but I haven't really watched them to like give you a full view now of how I feel about them. I assume I love them because they're meant to be ridiculously good movies. I, I mean, the first one anyway, and then the second and the third, I really don't have much memory of, but I will get to you. Also, this won't be a heavily edited video, if anything, um, just because there's so many titles. I think it's better to just keep it flowing, keep it going, and uh, keep moving. We got The Mask, uh, Jim Carrey classic. Of course, I'm going to own this one. Uh, a hell of a lot of fun movie. This is actually what I consider uh, my 600th Blu-ray because I actually went over, I was about mid 80s, mid 580s, um, and then I got 30 at the same time. So I was like, okay, I, what do I got to consider my 600th? I always like to get a steelbook in my 600th. And we got It. Now this movie itself is kind of average, but the best thing about it is the character right here, Pennywise. Um, Tim Curry is awesome in it, and the steelbook's really cool. I'm trying to avoid the glare here in every movie. I'm really sorry if I've got glare. Um, but just the, the nice green with the pale white face is cool. And then just the, 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 the red background's dope. And the nice, the spine I really like. Just the red Stephen King's It. It's awesome. Now, now we've got another trilogy. A couple of uh, trilogies in here. Actually, R18, which is very rare in Australia, though, we got the I Spit on Your Grave trilogy. Uh, I've actually only seen the first one, and that movie was actually pretty fucked up. I know it was a remake, but I heard this actually kind of better than the first one. Uh, I haven't seen the first one, but I haven't seen the second or third either. So I got a, the original I haven't seen, and the, the new, the original, you know, the first remake, uh, not the second or third, is actually a very fucked up movie. <laughs> uh, moving on, we got, I'm gonna put these together. They're not, they're not sequels, but they involve the same guy. Will Smith, we've got iRobot and Independence Day. Uh, both these movies are very dope. Not one of my, I wouldn't say top favourite Will Smith movies, um, but they're both pretty good movies. I'd probably take... Uh, I'd probably take iRobot over Independence Day. I know a lot of people like Independence Day. It's more action-y, but I'm not a huge action guy. That's why. Um, but again, we're we're going off with some with some hooked-up movies. Another one, it's, it's a newish release. I got in the, with the new releases, but it's not exactly new release. Happy Death Day. Uh, I feel I've seen the review. I dropped a review last year of this movie. This movie was freaking hilarious. Like, honestly, funny as shit. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, it was so good, so interesting. Uh, it's a, 
it's definitely up there. I know it's not the perfect movie, but I have a lot of fun with this movie, and I definitely have a good good sense of it. Another movie that I highly rated last year, The Greatest Showman. I think this is like six or something of my favorite movies last year. Um, again, with my new release pickups, this movie was close to perfection as a musical. Obviously, mu- when it's a musical, it doesn't adhere to all the audiences, and you know, it, musicals have different aspects of things that normal movies do, but this as a musical is top tier and phenomenal soundtrack. Phenomenal. Uh, another newish release movie, it's not exactly a new release, but it's close, Disaster Artist. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this movie last year. This movie is really funny, uh, really cool story. I honestly don't love the whole aspect of like, you know, everyone loves Tommy Wiseau because of this, and I think he's just a shit actor with a bunch of weird money that no one can explain. So, yeah, why not? Uh, we're going to another Jim Carrey movie. We had The Mask before, and now we have Bruce Almighty. I love this movie. This one's another really good um, Jim Carrey movie. He has a lot of great movies. Uh, this is a lot of fun. I haven't watched it in a while, and I remember Jonathan Addison's and Morgan Freeman. It's a really fun movie, and I need, I need to rewatch it. That was one, actually, I felt like rewatching as soon as I got them. I ended up going with a couple of movies because I have, you know, friends and family come over all the time and like pick a movie, and I never get to pick my movie I want to choose because it's up to them. But one of these days, I'll, uh, I'll get my pick in. Uh, the Breakfast Club. I have not seen this movie. Don't kill me too much. I know. I know, you're going to kill me, but uh, I need to see this. I've, I actually had it on DVD, then got rid of it because I got rid of my DVDs, and I was like, I'll pick, pick it up on Blu-ray one day. I never had a feeling to pick it up on Blu-ray until my friend was getting rid of all of them. I'm like, this is the perfect opportunity. I'm going to pick it up, I'm going to watch it, and eventually I'll get back to you on what I think of The Breakfast Club. Uh, moving on, we got Will Ferrell and John Hanna, Blades of Glory. I need to re this movie. I remember loving it as a, as a younger like teenager. It was a lot of fun, and I assume it still is now. And the last two are both, this is a, a newish release, uh, not a new release, but Battle of the Sexes. Huge Emma Stone fan, I own, I think everyone, except her like two movies that she has, I'm, she's my favourite actress, not my celeb crush, but she's my favourite actress, because my celeb crush is also an actress, but I think she's phenomenal, and Steve Carell is one of my favourite actors as well, so it was, it was a movie that I was really looking forward to. I didn't love it, but I, I did enjoy it, and the last one of part one of this uh, this update. Again, I've been going through them quick because I've got, you know, I don't want to be sitting here for 10 minutes talking about it. It could be 10 minutes and look like an idiot, but I don't want to talk for too long. That's why I split it up as well so you don't have to be sitting here for, you know, 20 minutes looking and going through movies, but The Accountant. My dad raves about this movie all the time. I love Ben Affleck. I love Anna Kendrick. I'm a huge Anna Kendrick guy, so I was really excited to watch this movie and um, I really need to check it out. I've seen bits and pieces and he looks awesome. I'm just going to get up for you right now, guys. So I can pick up the bundle of movies right here to show you guys without dying. I don't even know if it is that is that even gonna fit on is that even gonna fit in frame? I don't even know. Maybe it is, and I'm looking like a knobhead. But it, look at that. That is ridiculous. Like phenomenal stuff. Phenomenal pickups. Uh, I've got plenty of cool stuff on this channel look forward to. Um, as I said, part th- two of this update for May is coming out on Friday. This is obviously a, later on a Tuesday. Um, as well, I've got plenty of reviews coming because reviews have been pretty slow, but we're actually getting into American summer now, so the movie's going to start falling in. From about Ocean's 8, I think we get a lot of big-time movies coming through. Um, as well as I've got two monthly segments I want to set up. Hopefully, I'll get up this month, if not next month but I definitely want to do them. As well as I just started a podcast. Um, my mic is falling off. I'm hoping it stays there. Uh, I just started a podcast. It's called the Titanium Entertainment Podcast. I'll put the link. The link is actually on my channel. So if you go on my channel, it's on YouTube for the time being. It's just two of my mates, two and me and two of my mates. We talk shit about movies and, and Blu-rays and whatever, TV, everything, entertainment. That's why it's called entertainment. Check us out there. Uh, we're going to do videos every single Wednesday, podcasts every single Wednesday. So listen there. We do some, we think we're funny, I suppose. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for my next Blu-ray update in three days, the part two of this one. You can see the rest of my titles here. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment below, thumbs up. Same thing as like. You guys get me. I'm rambling on now. Subscribe. Have a good one.